Hey guys, it's the streamer Simone here and welcome back to a new vlog. So I'm going to be starting out this vlog today by going to get some laser hair removal. I did it once before, I think twice before, a couple months back. Now I am starting it back up. I really am excited to see my results and I'm going to be partnering with Laser Away. They have plenty of locations currently at Astoria, Queens in New York. Um, I live in New York. They offer cool sculpting. I also shared cool sculpting with you guys and a few videos i'll link them below i've done the laser they have a lot of other things to offer at laser away so make sure you check out the link down in the description box below so that you can book your consultation your appointments get you some treatments done you won't regret it so let's go because my appointment is at 11 30 and it is 11 15 so i'm doing really good on time i found some parking and let's go because your girl is sweating Asmina. Asmina. Oh, that's a pretty name. Of course, I appreciate that. <laughs> Asmina, a streamer. I know, right? I love yeah. it. <laughs> I love it. Very unique. Both of us. Thank you. Yeah, that is Questions amazing. before we get started? Are you currently pregnant and breastfeeding? All right, you guys. So this is the room. The machines are here. I'm gonna have to put on these glasses. That's after treatment. This is if it hurts. I, I remember that. <laughs> and then I have to put on this robe. I have to take off all my clothes. Them. There's a little TV in here. Nice and cute. Let me take off my glasses. Uh, it's so hot out today. It's noisy in here. I hope you can hear me. This is what I'm wearing today. My slides. My pants. My pants from H&M I got last summer. Really cute. And this top is from Marshalls. So I'm going to get changed in my robe and I'll be right back. Alright, I have on my robe. She just came in here by accident. I think I was talking too much. I took too long to take off my clothes. <laughs> um, Maybe a little bit. It was a habit. Like, I know, it's supposed to happen, right? Yeah. And then, like, I sprayed it, and I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, I gotta go get the... Yeah. We always clean up anyway, so no biggie. I'm just gonna mark the area. Okay. Oh, you said a butterfly. Yeah, right. like okay. Sorry, I always feel, okay. I always feel weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. Awesome. Cool shades on. All right, about to start. So what's the test spot? Ready? One, two, three. How does that feel? Felt okay. From one to ten, what would you say? Uh, like a five. What about over here? You don't really feel that. I don't feel that. Okay, perfect. Unarmed, 
I could just do it. I always leave the worst part last. So we do the side, the top, and then the middle one the block out. Okay. All right, I'm going to do one more test box. I'm going to do just a little bit. That's a little better. It's still the same. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. It's just when you get to the... Yeah. It's fine. Just do it. Um, I was trying to rush here, like so I didn't start sweating. Yeah. Oh, I know. Because I, I don't. Did. Yeah. I think mean, that's fine. Yeah. More important post treatment. Um, you don't want to sweat. You don't want to exercise for the first twenty four hours. Just not to irritate any area. You don't want to cause this sweat build up. Um, yeah. you want to shut. Yeah. One of one yeah. last question before I no, forget, because I'll forget. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> does it cause like? Does, can it like? Does it cause any type of like hyperpigmentation or like any type of darkening? Um, not necessarily. Cause I felt like when I first got it, like months ago, like yeah, um, yeah, but I'm, the area is darker, so that yeah, right that here, before, you yeah. see this dark spot right yeah, here. So like I didn't have that before, like getting the laser. I'm not saying it was no, a laser. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of but course. I, I just I not don't know. that I've seen or heard of any kind of reaction. Cause then this one is not, it's not even as like. This one has like more of it, like these the spot right here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that dark mark before. Yeah. So I didn't know if that was it would probably cause that at first and then it goes away. A lot of stuff can cause hyperpigmentation, even like hormonal changes in your body, stuff like that. Anything like there's yeah, so it's many probably my hormone. Effects. Hey y'all. So I just wanna quick quickly go over my experience at laser way today for the laser hair removal it was so awesome azemia was awesome i hope i'm saying her name correctly she has like a unique name like how i do and she was just so awesome like i don't know if you heard we were having like a really nice conversation she made me feel really comfortable compared to my last visit she was awesome she made me feel really comfortable all the ladies at the front desk were really sweet it was just awesome you guys and i just i'm looking forward to my next visit no lie okay so 10 out of 10 um the actual treatment wasn't too bad there was just certain areas areas of my body that you seen like my facial expressions kind of changed like the middle part of the downstairs kind of was a little more intense the underarms were like a breeze um the booty was a breeze <laughs> i literally didn't feel anything back there at all like always i never really feel anything in the back door area um but they do control the intensity and um that's what you're feeling so if i had to describe it it would be like a pinch like a constant pinch and some pinches are more intense than other pinches but the great thing about it it goes by so fast that it's like whatever you know you get through it and there's no pain after the fact so for three days i have to avoid excessive sweating um working out going to the pool going to the beach any type of harsh exfoliating loop cool cool shot lukewarm cool showers things like that which i already know so it's really really nice you guys my next appointment they say about six to eight weeks so it's really spaced out so i would really encourage you to get it if you've been thinking about doing the laser hair removal definitely get it you can get it on different parts of your body um it's pretty awesome you guys i really 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 like it i'm not gonna share anything with you guys that i'm not enjoying i can't stop smiling because it was so nice and i also found this nice little coffee shop all right, so let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Hey everyone, it's Ashima Simone here. And how you doing today on this marvelous, marvelous day? I, thanks for asking, have not been a great... I have not been feeling the best, you guys. My sinuses have been bothering me once again. I'm not sick or anything anymore, but I think I'm low on iron. I have to start taking my iron again. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just get up and just go. Lockheed was like, stream, just go. So I called a salon, a nail salon, and asked if they had any space. So I made an appointment for five. Of course, I'm running late. It's 4.50. And I wished I would have woke up earlier to just go and get it out of the way. But I'm just glad there was some space for me, okay? I'm going to be trying out a new nail salon today. Y'all know I've had a lot of fills with the um, Victoria Nail 
Nail and Spa in Green Acres Mall in Queens. And it was a hit and miss a lot. And I'm like, you know what? Let me just venture out and try different places. I'd be nervous when it comes to my nails, my toes, my eyebrows, and cushions of my body. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just try. Okay, why not? So hopefully that's a go. I think I might go with lilac or white toes. My nails, I might just do pedicure. I mean, I might just do press on nails at home like I always do. I have on the wig that I revamped and on one of those past vlogs. I'll link that vlog down below if you want to see how I cut it and everything. Just threw it on. Let's see if you could see me because it's kind of gloomy. I need to drive. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> but anyways, um, let me put on my seatbelt. I need to get a stand for you guys like when I'm vlogging. Um, hold on. I need to get a stand for you guys when I'm vlogging. Bro, move. Like, you see me coming out and you're just going to stop right here. Oh, you want to park? All right, hurry up before I change my mind. <laughs> but anyways, um, you don't need that much space. This is reverse. Let me just move back up because he's so scary. Um, in the last vlog when I shared our new puppy, right? Turn left, then turn right. Why are you so loud? Why are you so, why are you so loud? The people them don't need to know where I live. <laughs> Anywho, y'all. So, um, let me turn this down. <sighs> what was I saying? Yeah. Um, the last vlog I shared our new puppy Bentley. We've been potty training him, right? It's been a struggle. It's been a little bit of a struggle potty training Bentley, but it's going. It's it's getting there, right? Um, I seen a few comments about Bentley being a pit bull and watching him with Mila. Like I grew up with pit bulls. If you've been watching me for a while, you knew I had a lot of pit bulls, cats, a lot of red noses, blue noses, like I had pit bulls and other dogs. And you know, watching her with the pit bull, she could bite him, yada yada. All types of dogs bite. I know, I understand y'all concerns, especially if you've never had a pit bull. I understand your concerns, girl. Don't worry. We good. Mila, um, the dog that passed away from me also but in February was a pit bull. It was a red nose. Trying to situate y'all. I need to stand. This is ridiculous. I had a red nose that passed away, so I'm not a stranger to pit bulls or anything like that. Um, but all dogs bite. So I understand. Thank you guys for your concerns, for the few people that said it or if you were thinking it. Or whatever so um mila's in love with bentley so we do what we need to do okay i'm also gonna be starting back waist training i just want to shape out myself i'm not trying to encourage anyone to waist train this is just what i used to love to do i got a new waist trainer so i'm gonna attempt that i know everybody has their take on it but i'm gonna do what i want to do stream gonna do what she wants to do okay if i want to start waist training i start waist training if i want to stop i stop but anywho, oh, that's the traffic cops. I mean, I got the the camera in my hand. I don't think that matters. I'm still driving. It's not like it's my phone. Oh, hit another cop. Imagine they pull me over talking about, you can't vlog and drive. <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, um, sir, <coughs> this is my job. I have to multitask. Let me stop. Um, yeah, as you guys, so I will see you when I get in the salon. More than likely, I'll probably just use my phone. Um, because I don't want... It depends on the vibes, though. Bro, what are you doing? Or miss? What are you doing? What is all this traffic, actually? Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up the video, all of that jazz. Oh, hold up. I got a new name for y'all. I think, I think I have a new name for y'all. I think I do. What, okay, what y'all think about Acers? Asters, like A S T E R S, the beginning of my name A S T. So I thought of it like from the word sister, Sis sisters. So sister, you take off S I, and then at the end is S T E R, and then I put A at the beginning. Like instead of sister, it would be Aster. To become an Aster, you guys could be my Asters. I don't know. Let me know what you think about Asters. I, I did a little brainstorming on that my sisters but i know um james charles has he calls his people's sisters so i'm not gonna do that obviously duh so acers i don't know y'all let me know what y'all feel about that i'm gonna put the camera down now i want to turn on the ac and i'll see you <laughs> in the nail salon i just got here and it's fine i park outside but it looks like it's in the rundown ish place area like a little rundown i'm trying not to judge 
Um, that'd be the best nail salon sometimes, you know. Um, although I really wanted like a luxe type of thing. I'm going to put on my mask only because, you know, I'm going to be in the establishment. Bring my water. Um, Lord, I'm so nervous to try this new place. Y'all don't even understand. Hey, am I so nervous today? I can't sing y'all. Don't pay me no more. My daddy didn't give me the singing skills at all. Matter of fact, my dad raps. Well, this man looking at me. <laughs> Yo, I look crazy. I have on like, let me show y'all. I have on my scent, my slippers from inside, the two dollar slipper. Um, two dollar slipper them. Sir, do not hit me. Thank you, ma'am. I got on the two dollar slip of them just to make it easy in these loose pants. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Trying new places for like hygiene or like your body and stuff is like always so nerve wracking. Um, bumble clock, and like everyone is staring at me right now. Okay, so here's the place. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? night i realize i'm doing jail y'all was looking at the wrong thing <gasps> this is so pretty oh my gosh i don't know what to choose okay this caught my eye a little bit right here oh my god this is so beautiful look at these <gasps> oh my god what should i do and it just keeps getting better. Yeah, you could cut it down some. Yeah, square please. Yeah, these look like claws. Claws, y'all. Yeah. What the heck is that? Alright y'all, I just finished my toes and I'm going to talk more about it when I get inside. I want to take a little picture of my toes for my thumbnail real quick. It was a alright experience, I'm going to tell y'all just now. I want to take a picture in the dirty grass, but I want to make it look cute. Hold on. Alright you guys, so I think I need to clean my camera. So I'm sitting in the passenger side so that I can show y'all my toes. It's so nice out here right now. Do I need to clean my camera though? I think that made a difference. So yeah, so let me tell y'all my experience really quickly. So first and foremost, it was very quiet in there, very serene. Um, 
it was cute but it wasn't that much decoration so i always look about like i always look at the decor when i go to nail salons but it was it was nice um i asked for a spa pedicure but for some reason i don't know if it got mistranslated they gave me a regular gel manicure i mean a regular gel pedicure so i didn't get like the shebang and everything um they do the pricing like a little separated too like to remove the calluses like y'all know i have a callus problem it's like some kids are passing um it's like ten dollars extra which i don't mind but it's like she didn't ask me about any upgrades or anything this was my first time there when i was sitting there i started reading like all of the pricing and everything i had a little massage they timed the massage it was like three minutes timing of the massage and the one that i wanted had 10 minute massage like i was like you know what this reminded me of like you know when they post on the shade room what i asked for versus what i got and it'd be like all the comments be like i would never sit there and not say anything it's like i speak up but then it's like when i go somewhere for the first time i like to watch to see what they do without me saying anything and when it gone bad then i'll speak up so it wasn't so bad but i was just trying to see like what they do naturally it's like how can i ask for uh like a full-out spa pedicure and then you give me a regular one so it's like i didn't know what the whole gist was and she didn't really ask so i just know if i do end up going back there i'll like you know like i read it and everything oh i'm i'm by the hospital and it's like crazy um the mentally challenged is making noise i'm not in the best I mean, the area is not bad, y'all, but it's just like. Okay. No, sir. Can y'all hear? This lady said, Is he happy? Everyone's looking. Let me mind my business, y'all. I'm nosy. Mm. But anywho, it was cool. It wasn't bad. Um, the massage felt nice. You know, the application. Oh. I'm talking all of this. I ain't even show y'all my toes. I'm like thrown off by that, y'all. Look at my toes. Okay, so this is my toes. It's oh, it's okay. Like it's not horrible. Um, she cut it down kind of, kind of too low. Um, she put on three coats. Y'all see that right there? I don't like that. Where it's like dripping. I don't like that. Cause when it starts to grow out that's not gonna look good and i think that happened because she put three coats let me zoom in so y'all can see she put she put three coats on my toes i um it's normally supposed to be two coats or it's gonna start to strip like i said and she was like oh it's sheer that's why so i was like all right cool while i'm zooming in oh my god <laughs> she cut my toenails a little too short i could have did with some lotion like she didn't even put the lotion like so I I'm very anal, like picky when it comes to like nail salons. So I, I be hating to try so many and I don't want no fungus. Mm. I mean, they had the plastic or whatever. So yeah, so it came out all right. It could have been a lot better, but it is what it is. From a distance, it don't look bad. And it much me a $2 slip of them. Look at me, look at $2 slip of them. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing? Like, I'm getting a little too comfortable. Your girl didn't want to come outside, and now she outside. She don't know how to act. I'm sitting in the passenger seat, chilling like I, like I live over here. I'm walling. Oh, no, I'm not locking my damn keys in the car. Wait, matter of fact, this car don't allow you to do that. Let's go home. Let's go home. Oh, Lord. I really want the thing. Oh, there are. So he, he's doing a U-turn and he came so close. That, that scared me. I don't know the words. And if you wonder if I hate you, I do. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
I miss And if you wonder if I hate you Oh, my sister was singing this song around Mila a couple weeks back. Mila started saying she hate. She started saying I hate you. I'm like, oh my gosh. All right, y'all. I'm about to go inside now. I'm getting a little too comfortable out. I tired. I actually want to stop and get a smoothie. Maybe I should go stop and get a smoothie. Right? I should stop and get a smoothie. I mean, I can make it inside, but why when I could stop and get a smoothie? Smoothie. That's how Mila be saying smoothie. 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 <laughs> smoothie. So I know they have smoothies or whatever. They have like a nice little ambiance. Y'all, I don't be look I don't look cute to be going in there. But guess what? Me I go in there because I want something. I'm gonna treat myself. Why not? Why where's my mask? Um let's see. I'm supposed to pay the meter, but I'm not paying no meter. I'm gonna just go in there real quick and pray. Pray for me that I don't get no ticket. Look at this. Look at this. It is so cute in here, y'all. Look at this setup. This is what I'm talking about. So pretty. Oh my gosh. You have smoothie, right? Oh, yeah. And kale and brown rice. It's nice in here. Hey, babe, you want a smoothie? You want a smoothie? Um, from that place that I was telling you about. All right, y'all. I need to go inside. I have on these two dollar slippers, um, and I almost tripped. <laughs> They're not. It's not meant for walking for long. I just wanted to have it on for my my um my tours. But really and truly, why though? Because I got the gel. Now that I think about it, I could have worn my regular. Anywho, taste test time, y'all. I got the kale. What is it? The green power smoothie. Um, it has kale in it. I don't need this air. It's not even that that hot. Let's try it out. Cheers. Y'all know when I'm quiet trying to figure it out i definitely taste the pineapple i just i'm a fan of very thick smoothies um this is not thick but might give me some energy it has kale pineapple oh apple juice the base is apple juice i've never had a smoothie based with apple juice it never fails to waste something on myself all right, y'all. I'm going inside now. I'm a little tired. Probably might make something to eat. Excuse me. <laughs> and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I am back. Right, I'm back in the house. And I finished my smoothie. It was good, but I also felt like it's something I could have made at home. I guess it was just for the experience or if, like you're on the go. But I literally was going home. I could have just made it at home. <laughs> but... It was cute. But anywho, I want to try my waist trainer that I bought the other day. Well, not the other day. I actually bought it when I first started my weight loss journey last year, but I never did it. I was so busy like working out and everything and I forgot to waist train. But like after I had Mila and before Mila, I used to waist train a lot. So I'm not a stranger to waist training. So I want to actually start it back up. Also to help with my posture because I hunch a lot like this without realizing that I do it. Normally I would just stand like this. And I'm very like, my chest is big. So like hunching is not really good at all. <laughs> so I try to do this, but I know this will help. Also cinching my waist. If you're new to my channel, I was on a weight loss journey. I do have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. So my metabolism does have like challenges, okay? So <laughs> I do have um, problems with my midsection with like, fat hair i lost a lot of fat and then i decided to 
slow down. I'm in between maintaining and just living my life, basically. I'm gonna be sharing health and fitness stuff here and there, but I'm not gonna pressure myself because my channel started to be all about that and I don't want, because that's not completely me, you know? I have other interests. So, I want to start doing this again. So I'm gonna just show y'all my stomach. I, I haven't showed my stomach in a while. I don't really like to show my stomach like that anymore because like, it's just drama. <laughs> so this is my stomach right now. Right? It's not terrible, you know, but it was a lot flatter than this. I did gain some weight back or whatever. I think I'm about a 31 waist. I went down a lot before I went down back to a 28, 27, and then I gained back some weight. So I'm gonna get the measuring tape, hold on. All right, so I just got a regular measuring tape. So my purpose, like I said, to help with my posture, to cinch in my waist, to kind of like, you know, but I don't want to like make my body become reliant on the trainer, but there's a lot of other benefits. So I'm just going to measure right above my navel, my waist. What are us? Oh yeah, just eight. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm supposed to be 31. It says 32. I drank that whole thing. We can just gonna call it what it is right now. I'm 30. So I'm like a medium large shirt. I'm really a medium. If I want to be like extra comfortable, it's a large. I believe the shirt I have on is a medium, maybe a small. So it's supposed to fit comfortably around your waist. I'm at a like 32, but I'm normally 31. So I got this waist trainer from Amazon. I'll link it down, down below if you're interested. And I did get it in a size medium, like I said, during my weight loss journey, I was a size medium, um, small medium. It should be able to fit still. I normally go off of by my um, shirt size when choosing a waist trainer. So I'm gonna start on the first hook and then work my way to the last, that's the goal. I also do have a large waist trainer, but I tried that one on and it's like, I have to go to like the third hook. So no, <laughs> so more than like, I'm a, I'm a medium. So I'm gonna put this on real quick. Whew, child. When I say it was not easy getting into this trainer, like it's supposed to not be easy, but it's not supposed to be like extremely hard. Um, the very mid section was the worst. Um, I'm going to take this off, but the top was easy. So this is how it looks. Hold on. I'm bringing this up a little. So. And another thing too, like I wanted to kind of correct, although I want to like visit the chiropractor one time, my body feels uneven. Like I feel like I have more fat and everything. I know it's also because of my heart. Everyone's like that, but I feel like there's a lot more. Like it's, it's uneven. <laughs> so you see this comes in more than right here. And that's always been my issue. Like it's uneven. Like I'm perfect here and then it's like extra fat on the left side for me all the time. Even this boob is way bigger. But yeah, um, this is how it looks. And I'm already like forced to stand up straight, <laughs> as you can see. It feels pretty comfortable. Like you're supposed to be able to breathe without feeling restricted. I'm just breathing kind of heavy because child, when I tell you to get this on, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I didn't need any help, but it feels pretty comfortable. It feels pretty comfortable. I just gotta get used to it. When my body said to get used to it, again, cause I, like I said, I've done this before. Um, it's recommended to not go past eight hours of waist training per day. I said per day. It is recommended not to go past eight hours of waist training in a day. So my goal today, since it's kind of late, it's like seven now, 7 p.m. Um, I'm not gonna, hmm, I'm gonna give myself, I wanna have it on for maybe two hours, three hours, just to kind of get back in the groove to see how long I'll last with it on. Let's show you that. 
see how much I last with it on. And um, one thing for sure though, the waist trainer gives you a booty booty. You be pushing up there. Booty booty booty. I know I have on black, you can't really tell. And it pushes up your breast too a lot. Let me show you how it look with the shirt. Although this shirt is not the best example, but because it's like semi cropped. See? Where's my waist? Because I cannot find it. Is my shirt's even baggier? Where's my waist? That's how I'm trying to be in real life. No waist. Not my not my shirt baggy. What the hell? Like you can't even tell. Can you tell that I have on a trainer? No. If I came on a camera like this. Y'all yeah, be like, the streamer, where's your waist? <laughs> but yeah, um, so I'm gonna keep it on for two, I'm gonna try my best to keep it on for two hours. So far, it don't look it don't feel bad. I mean, for me to keep it on for eight hours, obviously that'd be great, but I'm trying to like baby steps. Um, it's also not recommended to sleep in your waist trainer. Do what you want, but I'm gonna try to tell you the right thing. I'm also not trying to influence you <laughs> to waist train. It's up to you if you want to. You could do your own research, obviously. This is just what I want to do. I know a lot of people waist train. I'm not the only person, so obviously not. So we're going to see what's the results looking like, okay? It said 32 today, although I'm normally 31. So I'm going to do this for about two weeks. And then I'll probably have a separate updated video. Or I'll just update you on the vlog if you're interested. So... Child, it'll also make you sweat. Mm. If I was walking around in this, you could even work out in it too. I used to work out in these, but I'd rather work out in like the belts instead of the trainer because it's less restrictive and I could bend over in this, squat, raise my hand. Like it's not bad. I feel comfortable. Hey guys. So I've had it on for about an hour and 15 minutes and I want to take it off now. My body is not, I want to take it off. See? My one, take it off. No. <laughs> I think it's because I already ate and everything, you know. I'm uncomfortable. Baby steps. So I'm going to take my time doing this. Tomorrow, I'll probably do it like earlier in the day because it's nighttime now. I ate. Not saying I'm gonna like not eat, but it's like I had just had the smoothie right before two, and that's not good either. So these damn guinea pigs. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all my stomach after I took it off. Of course, there's gonna be imprints on my stomach. Like damn. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. <laughs> Bentley, stop barking. Hey guys, so it is the next day, and your girl went on a little errand run. I didn't bring you guys with me because I just wanted to make it quick, fast, you know. <laughs> but I've been wage training. Hey, I look, I look snatch. I look snatch. Hey, I look snatch. I look snatch. Hey. I look snitch. I look snitch. Hey. All right, you guys. So I have on my trainer today. I've been waist training on an empty stomach. <laughs> I wanted to start it off that way. And the first hour was rough. But, but I feel like absolutely great now. You see, I'm like singing. And everything like my body's getting used to it so it's been a couple of hours it's been about three hours yesterday i only did an hour i couldn't take it but today my body's a little better about it everybody was like staring at your girl i guess they was trying to figure out does she got a bbl or what because where's her waist <laughs> let me stop so in a little i think i'm gonna actually take this off and eat i don't want to eat with it on i want to digest my food and then put it back on um and I, I didn't even have my coffee yet or nothing, right? So, I'm going to go do that. And then after I digest and everything, I'm going to put it back on. 
And then I'm gonna start tackling. See, I went on saw no eyebrows, nothing, but I did them so nicely that they're not so bad. So I'm gonna fix myself up, put on the new lace wig, and yeah. Hey you guys, so it is like nighttime now. You can see I'm all settled. Well, not really. I didn't take a shower yet, but I'm decided I'm gonna make some dinner and I'm like, let me just record it. Um, I'm gonna be making some rice sauteed chicken breast strips like the chicken tenderloins and a spare wait no i'm not making rice i'm making mashed potatoes actually instead of rice i feel like i want some mashed potatoes and um some asparagus um, i already chopped the asparagus the, the bottom part off i got some water heating up for my mashed potatoes i'm gonna add some salt to the water no um actually the last time i made mashed potatoes it came out okay i think i'm gonna do a lot better now hopefully let's pray and then i have the tenderloins over here in water with vinegar i'm gonna season it up quickly and i look a hot mess so i won't really be on camera y'all just hear me talk um and however i make this food is how i'm making the food everyone wants to be a chef i'm not trying to be a chef <laughs> okay so it is what it is. Right, so I got my chicken here and I'm just gonna season it really quickly. Um, I'm one of those people, I do not, I repeat, I do not <laughs> measure, right? So, use some sazon. A little bit of Lari season salt. Let me turn this down a little bit. Just a little bit that, maybe a little more. Some garlic powder. Some onion powder. and poultry seasoning um, a little, some paprika of course some color and this bia what else my mom put some salt free seasoning garlic scallion Jerk seasoning, just a little. Put on my gloves so it don't get up under my fingernails. I didn't do my nails yet, obviously. I didn't do my hair yet. I ain't do nothing yet, y'all. I've been tired. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. And I only have six, about six pieces in here. I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit of flour. I'm like, I'm gonna fry it first and then saute it down, but I just wanna have a little bit of crisp for the skinless, just a little, nothing crazy. Fry around. Actually, I'm gonna stab it up a little bit. All the seasoning get in there. Y'all, half the time, I don't even know what I'll be doing when I'm cooking. I'll be experimenting a lot. <laughs> I'ma just do what I can, you feel me? So I'ma let that sit for a little bit and now I'ma go to the potatoes. I'm not filming this whole time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I just do that, I'm here, baby. All right. Love you. Love you too. Okay, I busy. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what is this called, a pillar? Yeah, potato pillow. A skin pillow. A skin pillow, because you could peel an apple with it, too. Yeah, you could use an apple, mango. Mango, yeah, I forgot mangoes. So I'm just using yeah. a pillar to take off the skin off of the potato. All right, my potatoes are peeled. Okay. Now I'm going to chop them up. All right, now I'm going to add it to the pot. 
Damn. I didn't think about this. I didn't think about it. Not me dropping it. Hold up, hold up. I didn't think about the hot water splashing on your girl. you guys so the potatoes are boiling it's about eight minutes left on it so i put it in salt water for so it's going to be a total of 15 minutes and it smells so good like french fries already so i have a feeling it's going to come out really great all right mila give me a second so now i'm going to saute my asparagus and my onions using my always pan of course add a little bit of vegetable oil a little because the always pan is really good for non-stick let that heat up mm. saute the asparagus I forgot to dry off my asparagus because oil and water don't all mix <laughs> no salt seasoning on there yeah, I'm not perfect, okay? The one thing I do not do is eat raw food. So, I'd rather my food looking well done than uncooked. So I'm just gonna cover this. Any, um, I'm gonna lower the heat. Anytime asparagus is cooking, <laughs> frying, it always smells like popcorn. All right, so the potatoes are done, so I'm gonna turn this all the way down. And I'm just going to strain it. So the asparagus is done. I'm just going to put that to the side. And I went ahead and strained my potatoes. They look really soft. Cooking and filming is actually pretty stressful. So I hope y'all appreciate this. So I'm going to be using my new hand mixer by Musa that I have for like a while and never used. And because I don't have a potato masher, I'm just going to use this. <laughs> actually not the best either <laughs> only because it's like not in a deep bowl all right we're gonna we're gonna relax on that for a little bit <laughs> okay um now i'm gonna be adding in some warm milk Well, I'm actually using half and half, y'all. So, see how that we'll see how that come out. Let's see. Let me try one more time. I know it's a mess, but When I added the milk, it did it so much more smooth. I'm gonna add some sour cream. I'm gonna add some salt. So this is how my mash came out. Very smooth. What is that? Hmm. It's good. It doesn't need a little bit more oil. A little bit more salt. I don't know why I feel like I want to add cream cheese. Mama? Hmm? I, I, I want to taste the bite. You want to taste it? Mm hmm. Okay, hold on. Alright, let me try it. Y'all, this tastes better than the restaurant smashed mashed potatoes. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my gosh, you want to try it, Milo? Mm -hmm. Milo's really about texture. She's a very textured. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at my mashed potatoes. Oh, and they taste good too. It tastes good. 
I know, I made it real smooth. Oh, it's like I tried something different. I, I demolished the kitchen <laughs> right here, as you could see, but I tried something different and it's, it tastes good. So using the same, everything from the asparagus, I just put some onions in here. And then I'm gonna add the chicken that's been marinating for about an hour. Here, All right, I'm gonna add my chicken. I got six pieces to fit. That's the good news. All right, my chicken has been frying on one side for about seven minutes. So I'm just gonna turn them. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, that one is so tender, it broke. <laughs> I guess I'll give that one to Mila because she doesn't eat it whole anyway. So I'm gonna turn down the fire just a little. This looks so good, y'all. And it smells so amazing, baby. I just like to push it down so it'll cook evenly. The bowl that I had the, the raw chicken in, I added some water to it. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of ketchup. About a tablespoon. All right, I'm gonna give it a nice little mix. I know this looks crazy, right? I would sometimes add like gravy master or something to it, but I wanna keep the color of the chicken. And then I'm gonna put this on top of the chicken that's cooking. So right before it's finished, I'm gonna add this in. So it's like right over it. Right, like that. Turn down the fire even more to really low. Even low. I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of cane sugar in the mix. Ooh, 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 ooh. I want it to be everywhere. Kind of like basting it a little bit, not really, <laughs> but just getting it everywhere. I should have just put it in the water, in the water itself, but I forgot. And then I'm just gonna make this cook down for about seven minutes. And my camera is dying, so I'm gonna cover it and let it cook down on low. So while we wait, I just wanted to show you guys Mila's new kitchen that she got for her birthday from my dad. It is so cute, you guys. And it's literally her height. I just love it. It has like this realistic counter. Oh my God, it literally feels like a counter. Like, do you hear that? That's like counter material. It's just so cute. It has four burners, a microwave, a little phone. She could write here with chalk, which she was doing. Cabinet, fridge, oven, freezer. And the cutest thing is this little rod for a towel. I'm literally gonna customize this. I love the whole pastel colors, you guys. So cute. She, she literally loves it so much. All right, you guys, so it is finished. Show you how it looks. It looks so good, oh my gosh. It smells so good, but let's see if it tastes even better. I'm gonna plate it up. All right, you guys, here is my plate. Oh my gosh, so I, I wanted to make a lot of gravy so that I can also use it for ma mashed potatoes. This would also be really good over rice, but like I said, I was in the mood for mash. Oh my gosh, you guys, it just looks so good. Oh my gosh. It just smells so good too. I just can't wait to dive in. My mouth is watering. I got it here. I'm gonna taste test my chicken first. Take all these glasses, the reflection is crazy. And I look crazy, I'm sweating from cooking. All right. Mmm, 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 hot. Mmm. 
this. This is so good. This is so this is so good. Let me taste my asparagus. Mmm. Oh my god. And the sauce. So good. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay. I did that. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm gonna eat and clean up.